three or four decent hits in the game. Malone couldn't clear the puck. Gave it up to Marcus Nasla, trying to stick handle to the front of the net. He's checked and knocked down. Bergevin, hooked by Brendan Morrison. Morrison now with Bertuzzi in front of the centering pass. Here's Nasla and scores! Sweet goal! The big line strikes to tie the game 1-1. We were talking about Marcus Naslin's chance in the first period and how he didn't roof it. The defenseman came across and got it with his shin pads. This time, Marcus makes no mistake on the backhand. A beautiful play by Todd Bertuzzi to set up Marcus Naslin. Morrison to Bertuzzi to Naslin. Little back pass. Look at Naslin. No mistake on this one. Gets it up and over Marc-Andre Fleury. Look at Naslin go to the front of the net. Reads the play well. Back pass and shelves it. A dozen for Marcus Naslin, Bertuzzi and Morrison set it up at 329, and Vancouver's on the board for the first time. The game is tied 1-1. Linden goes to the front of the net. Naslin back to the blue line. Jovanovski for Marcus Naslin, one-timer wide of the net. Brendan Morrison now. Linden's in the corner, Bertuzzi in his office. The pass back for Morrison, and Barahowski stepped in and knocked it down. Here's Marcus Naslin, he scores! What a nice quick shot by Marcus Nazar. Off the skate, up to the stick, and Mark andre Fleury doesn't even react. It's in off the padding and out again. Mark andre Fleury normally would be down. He's a butterfly goalie, he gets down quickly, but he just doesn't react because Marcus Nazar moves this so quickly. Off the skate, bang, and in it goes. What a beautiful play by Marcus Nazar. Fair for Nazar, almost back to the scoring lead. Snapped it in, and the game's tied 2-2. Nice work by Trevor Linden. Protect the puck, Bertuzzi digs it out to Naslin, and Naslin does the rest. Much needed power play goal. He tracks him down, Marcus Naslin, stick handle, shoots, blocked by Melikar. In comes Sopel to Bertuzzi. Naslin's looking for open ice as Bertuzzi spins off a check, beats the puck out, Sopel stops it, shoots it, flurries, makes the save, loose puck, batted at by Morrison, still loose, Naslin scores! A hat-trick for Marcus Naslin and a 3-2 lead for his Vancouver Canucks. Todd Bertuzzi sets up this goal with, again, that one-handed move where he fights off the defenseman. And this creates confusion for the Pittsburgh Penguins because they know one guy can't handle Todd Bertuzzi. And it ends up Brent Sopel back at the point, takes a shot. The uh, crowd forms in front of Mark andre Fleury. And look at Todd Bertuzzi. Here it is. The one hand fights off, and then all of a sudden there's three penguins on Bertuzzi. And this creates some open ice for Marcus Naslin to come in, pick up the garbage, and there's the backhander through Mark andre Fleury. Brendan Morrison does a good job. The goal scorers know when to go, know where to go. Marcus Naslin beside the post, smells the chance, and there he goes. Just sneaks in and gets the empty netter. His 10th career hat trick, his ninth as a Vancouver Canuck, and he's put his team into the lead on a night when many people thought he should rest against an inferior opponent. Well, Melikar had him and then let him go. Melikar had him at the post, and Marcus Naslin played the old sleeper play, snuck right by him, and in it goes. I think this sets a record for the most hats ever thrown on the ice in a Canadian rink. Canadians treasure their caps. <laughs> That's right. They usually put them on power lock and won't throw them on the ice. But so many of them are excited for Marcus Naslin. They toss their caps into the ring. And by swiping a free club card, Wu Young Shim Lin of Vancouver's won VTEX 5.8 gigahertz dig digital cordless phone with answering system courtesy of Safeway and Old South Orange Juice. I'm glad you had to say that name and not me. But Marcus Naslin is really easy. <laughs> Todd Bertuzzi doesn't get an assist on that, Jim, but he set up that goal. He created it behind the net, used his size and strength, and the Penguins just couldn't match it. For the Pittsburgh Penguins, Dick Tarnstrom, Patrick Boyle takes the pass and relays to Holzinger. Koltsov takes the shot and turned back, and here comes Vancouver three on two. Todd Bertuzzi, Naslin falls in behind him, takes the puck, takes the shot, he scores! Four for the captain. He leads the league in scoring, and he leads his team to a 4-3 victory.
And that's the thing with four on four hockey. One way, a shot's blocked. Sammy Sallow jumped up into this play, and that creates some open ice for Marcus Naslin and Mark Andre Fleury. He played pretty well, outshot by more than double, but then lets in this goal by Marcus Naslin. What a night for the Vancouver captain on a night when we were unsure if he would even suit up. Four goals, including the overtime winner. There's Todd Bertuzzi in the crisscross action. There's Salo jumping up into the play, and Bertuzzi, by dropping the puck and then going to the net, creates some open ice. There's Bertuzzi, runs the interference. There's the open ice and the little wrist shot by Marcus Nazem. Right through the legs of Mark andre Fleury. Bertuzzi takes Tarnstrom to the net, and that creates the open ice. And there's a little seeing eye shot by Marcus Nazem. 